Hey fam, my name is Akira and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is going to be another lip gloss review. Like I always say, these videos require no introduction. So let's get right into the video. So today's lip gloss brand is called Wai Chan Cosmetics. Um, Wai Chan Cosmetics reached out to me on Instagram. She reached out to me on May 23rd and I replied on June 7th um, just to give you an idea of how long it does take me to respond sometime. Also um, keep an eye out there will be a video very soon on how I pick which lip gloss companies to review. But anyway we talked um, she said she wanted to send me some lip gloss. I said okay awesome. She shipped it out to me on June 8th and I received the package on June 13th. We did not discuss what I was going to get so it's going to be just as much of a surprise to me as to you. Um, on her website her lip glosses range from $4.50 to $6 depending on what type of tube you get. I saw she had a couple different types of wand tubes and a squeeze tube. Um, and your shipping will be calculated at your checkout. So look at me all prepared. Got all the information within like a minute. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the package. So the Brighton Cosmetics Gloss was shipped to me in this black bubble mailer. It does have the shipping label on the front, but just a plain basic black bubble mailer. So let's open it up and see what's in here. My scissors are in my car from when I had to cut some duct tape to take my window because somebody broke it. Um, so we're gonna use an X-Acto knife to open it this time. Awesome. That, were, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so let's get into it. First, we're gonna go for the paper, per usual. Um, and this looks like an invoice. Yes. Ooh, okay, so she gave me an invoice of what she sent me. She sent me something called Hershey Drop and something called Pineapple Fantasy Squeeze 2. She says, maybe Hershey Drop is lip gloss and butter balm. I'm not sure, but we'll see when we open it. Um, she said, she wrote thank you on here, that's so sweet. And she said to tell your subs to use code FIRST10 for 10% off their first purchase. So there you go, I'll put it on the screen, code FIRST10 for 10% off your first purchase. A code for y'all, cute. Okay, let's see what else. We got any more papers in here? Nope, nothing else loose, okay. So this is how the gloss comes. How cute is that? Ooh. And there's nothing else in the packaging. Y'all, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. That's so freaking cute. Okay. Let's open it up. Okay. Once again, we'll go for the card first. Okay, so it's her business card. It looks like a little, little credit card, debit card. Uh, it just says Wai Chan, Chan Cosmetics. I'm sorry in advance if I say Wai Chan, even though it is Wai Chan. I, I have nothing to tell you other than sorry. <laughs> um, and it has her website. And in the back, it says her name is Wyomi, maybe? I think it says Wyomi. Um, and it has the their business email, their website, and their, I guess, Instagram. So that's the front. How cute is that? And here is the back. And her website and Instagram will be in the description box per usual. Okay, so first of all, this is a really cute organza bag. Like, that's mad cute. And let's look at the glosses. Okay, so I gotta look at the the invoice to tell me what I'm looking at. Okay, so this must be Pineapple Fantasy in a squeeze tube. 
Y'all, this is a good size squeeze tube, too. With her little vinyl label on there. Um, this must be Hershey Drop lip gloss in a different tube. I believe this is the one that costs six dollars. And then this is a butter balm, also in Hershey Drop, I believe. So there you go. Okay, cute. I will say this is really cute packaging. Like I really like this, it's very professional. It has the ingredients on here. Yeah, I really do like the, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Like packaging is pretty great. So I guess we'll start with the balm since I mean, a lot of times I do wear lip balm under lip gloss anyway. So it has this little seal to tear. So we're gonna tear the seal and try it out. Now it is melted a little bit, but that's because I live in Louisiana and I have no idea how long it was in the mailbox. So let's try the balm. What does it smell like? Y'all, this smells so distinctively like something, but my brain will not tell me what. Like y'all, when I figure it out, I'ma let y'all know, but it smells exactly, very specifically like something that I cannot remember right now. But let's try it. It's a nice lip balm. I will 100% continue to use this. I just really wish I could place my finger on what it smells like. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice lip balm, very moisturizing because I needed that. My lips are crusty. Um, but yeah, so which one should I try first? I don't know. I just kind of want to open this one because I see tubes like this all the time, but I never see them open. Okay, so I will say it's called Hershey Drop, but it does not smell like chocolate. Um, if that's what you were thinking, because that's what I was thinking. Y'all, why is this triggering? It's triggering a memory of... See, this is different, but this is triggering a memory of doctor's office suckers like you know you go to the doctor and you get a sucker at the end that's what this is reminding me of what the actual scent is i have no idea maybe strawberry i don't know um i might start with this one just because i like sparkles and that's pretty much enough So let's try this one. This is Pineapple Fantasy in a squeeze tube. I actually will say I do like the squeeze tube better than the last few I've tried just because it's bigger. Sorry for the noise in my chair. Um, but yeah, let's try it out. Initially, initial thoughts are, um, I like it, but because I have the balm on, I can't really tell if the gloss is gliding on how I like it or if it's being helped by the balm. So right now, I'm gonna say I like it. It's a nice consistency. Um, however, I will reserve my like overall thoughts for after this wears off, like I'm about to go eat because for some reason, I always forget to eat until like almost three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but I'm about to go eat. After I eat and this wear is off, I think I'll reapply without the balm because I can't really tell if it's the like nice, like more thin gloss that I prefer or if it's just a thick gloss being helped out by the balm. So we will see. 
because of course I'm gonna do a wear test. Um, but so far it's good. And look at that shine. And I do like this squeeze tube. I still prefer wand tubes, but this is not a bad squeeze tube at all. So I will see you guys in my check-ins. Alright, so it's hot as balls once again, but here is the gloss in natural light. I had to start um, this check-in a little further out than usual because my brothers are my brothers are cleaning the garage, so they have music playing. Or I am trying to get copyrighted. So this is the gloss, natural light. Um, it's been about 20 to 30 minutes since I put it on. So it's holding its shine very well. It's very comfortable on the lips. Um, I can kind of tell it's there, but maybe I put too much on because I'm not used to using squeeze tubes. But overall, it's doing pretty well and feeling very good. So I will check in after I eat and let you know how it's doing. Right now, it's just turned three o'clock for a time reference. So yeah. So I've eaten and now back home. I'm about to change for work. Lip gloss completely gone, like I said, because I ate. And I guess we'll apply the other one and see how that goes. So here is the other gloss. And let's put it on. Sorry if my phone is shaking. For some reason, the screen keeps wanting to turn off. So here we go. I will say the wand is a little loose feeling. Like it might come out, but I don't know. But let's try it. So. Okay, so here is the next gloss. I do like the packaging, even though the wand does feel a little loose when you take it out. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I might have just got um, a faulty tube. But, okay, so I do like the gloss. Um, the lip balm did help it, but not extremely. It does still feel nice and smooth. Um, a good amount of gloss came out on the wand. Um, so I really only needed one dip for the bottom and one dip for the top. Um, and yeah. So I will check in with you guys later. Okay, so this is the other gloss in natural light. Um, and I'm about to head into work. We've got a short day, so I will check in right after work to... Actually, you know what? I've got a short day today, so next time you see me, it will be when I give you my final thoughts on the gloss. Okay, so it's back and I'm ready to give my final thoughts. First of all, ignore whatever my hair is doing. I need to wash it like today, so we're just gonna ignore that. But it's actually been about a week since I got the Wartron Cosmetics lip gloss because I've been really busy, which is why this video is going up late, but whatever. Um, so, Overall, I really, really like these glosses. These are the only things I have been wearing all week. I do like this one better, mostly because it's in a wand tube and I feel like squeeze tubes are extra unnecessary work, but the formulas are the same. They're both great. They're both pleasant scents. Um, along with the lip balm, the lip balm is great. Like it's a really, really good, very, very nourishing and moisturizing. It's great, very pleasant scent. I've decided maybe it smells like 7-Up cake, maybe. I honestly, to be real, I have no idea what the actual like label scents are on any of these, but they're all very pleasant scents. All somewhere in like the fruity family, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but they're pleasant to me and they don't last on your lips long, except for this. The lip balm, the smell does last for a while, so it, if you don't like the smell of this, I'm gonna ask the owner of White Time Cosmetics, if you will, since you will probably watch this video, um, could you comment and tell me what the 
fragrances are um just so everybody knows um but overall super great been using them all week like these are the only lip products i have been using all week they are fantastic love them they're really great um they're reasonably priced when i run out of this lip balm i most likely will buy it again because it's really nice um so yeah i mean there's not much too much to say when you like something you like something it's real easy to say why you don't like something it's not as easy to come up with reasons why you do but they're good lip glosses um i will be putting the link to her website in the description box along with her instagram um along with my instagram all my social medias are always in the description box i think i have instagram twitter and maybe my snapchat in there but whatever they're all in there um keep a lookout for my how i pick which companies to review video it will be coming up in the next couple weeks to give you all a clearer idea of how to reach out to me and how i choose and all that so with that being said this is the end of this video i hope you enjoy like comment subscribe tell your mama to subscribe your daddy to subscribe your brother your sister your cat your dog everybody to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.